Well, what's happening, my dudes? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing good. Hope you are doing well. And welcome to MX Bikes of All Things. I finally cracked. I finally been pressurized into buying it. No, I haven't. No one's pressurized me into buying it, but everyone bangs on about this game being the best thing in the world. And uh, I thought I'd finally, finally buy it. So I've just hired the demo, played the demo for a little bit. We never did a video of the demo on the channel, but uh, finally bought the full game through Steam. And uh, I get it, man. I get it. I totally get why everyone loves it. I, I totally understand why people go on about this like being one of the best Metacross games ever. We'll get into a bit more of it. I'm not really sure what this is going to be a series or just a couple episodes. I don't really know what we're going to do with the game. Um, let me know what you think down below. Anything you want to see, any type of series you want to see. But I mean, to begin with, it's going to be a lot of me crashing. Um, I think uh, as I opened this game up, we were about eight hours of uh, playtime in Steam. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of that has just been messing about with mods Messed about with settings, just trying to understand the game, get used to all the, all the, as I said, all the settings. There's so many different blooming things you have to change in this game. And obviously all the mod aspect of it is just insane. The amount of stuff you can download and put into this game is insane. Absolutely insane. And I'm a, a, some of it's paid for. I've not paid for a penny though. I paid a penny for anything. Like there's so much free content out there. It's crazy. Um, Yeah, that was a weird intro. I've already started rambling. I feel like this could be one of those videos where I just talk nonsense, but um. As you can see, I've already done some modding. We've got some uh, some sick looking FXR gear, Alpine Star stuff, Red Bull sponsored, Donut Goggles, KTM, obviously all looking all uh, retro with the orange and purple. Um, I won't name all the people that made all this stuff yet. I mean, I'm sure you guys can go and find it, but, uh, and I've probably forgotten already to be honest. Uh, there's so many things I've been downloading and changing, it's crazy. Um, today we're just going to do a little bit of riding around a track or two maybe, I guess, and just, you know, just talk about the game a little bit. Um, I think my bikes were good, but yeah, as I said, we're obviously on the, we're going to do, start on 250s because uh, I think 450s are going to be a bit of a handful for myself, uh, obviously being a complete noob to this game. Um, we're rocking a lot of Blitzco stuff, that's what we're rocking. Yeah, loads of Blitzco stuff, so the, the bike, uh, livery itself, the, the boots, the FXR stuff, I... Uh, was that Blitzco as well? It might have been. I did kind of go all in with Blitzco stuff because it all looks pretty sick on the, uh, the MXB Mods website. But yeah, 250 KTM for now. Um, I mean, you guys, I don't know, some of you might know this, some of you might not. There's been loads of updates recently, OEM bikes and stuff. Obviously, none of the, a lot of this doesn't come with the game. Again, I don't really know how to do what, how to, the audience that this is going to be going out to. I mean, some people might know this stuff. Some of you might be complete beginners like me. So I guess... You effectively, when you buy the game, you get like maybe 10 tracks that are just all completely random ones from uh, from Poboso, who makes the game. Um, and you get basically uh, some default kind of bikes for going to MX2. I will say it does take a while to load. Well, that's quite quick. But yeah, you get like your bog standard, not official bikes, um, no branded stuff, effectively. You can change your colors, all that sort of stuff. But I think the first thing that pretty much everyone does when they buy this game is installs the OEM pack. Uh, which is obviously official manufacturers, um, Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha, KTM, all that sort of stuff, which is what I did, was pretty much the first thing I did. There's recently been a, a fairly big update to the OEM packs, so the bikes have all been kind of reworked a little bit. Uh, the 250s and the 450s especially, um, the four strokes. Um, and they've kind of, I think the plan was to try and make them all a bit more even. There were some bikes that were very sort of dominant like the yamaha 450 and the honda 250 i believe whereas at the moment i think they've kind of leveled out the the 250s definitely um i see a lot of people saying the husky is the one to go for it and uh even the suzuki which is interesting um i jumped on the ktm just purely because of this livery i thought was pretty sick uh, and it feels good so to begin with we're going to be riding this and i just want to get used to the game get used to the using the same bike effectively and just uh try and figure out um but yeah, I mean, let me know, as I said in the comments, let me know what you want to, if you want to know anything about the game, let me know and I can do a video on it. I'm sure there's there's already a million videos out there that explaining how to do all this stuff. But if, you know, if people want to see something different or from me, then that's fine. Um, so yeah, I don't really know who I'm aiming this at, but there's a lot to do in the game and a lot to, to download and a lot to set up and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, as I said, we're going to rock this stuff. Everyone's rocking FXR gear at the moment, so I thought we'd jump into it. Uh, we're going to jump into, we'll jump into a custom track or, a, you know, a downloaded track. Um, so if we're going to testing, uh, we're going to jump to this one, Swedish Midsummer Carnage by Hell Machine. Uh, luckily that is all written there, so I don't have to try and remember it, which is nice. I don't think it, oh, it does tell you here, yeah, Hell Machine. Um, Swedish track, I don't know if this is real, I don't know if it's pretend, I've no idea. Uh, I didn't really read the description. I've already seen some videos of this, I think it's been out earlier this year, like February time possibly it came out. Um, 
free free of charge again like i said there's so many free mods for this game it's insane what people make for free and don't charge for it it's, it's incredible the community just looks looks crazy for this game um so yeah i'm sure a million people have already covered this track but i uh it seemed like a good one for beginners so we're, we're going to jump into this um we should put the, the deformation up a little bit i've not really messed with this at all we'll stick it up to like 2 2.5 and we'll see if it starts getting a bit crazy uh and that's pretty much it so yeah we'll jump into this for now and we'll do some riding you can see how bad i am cool we're in testing let's get on with it shall we um i, I will double check my settings real quick so again this is like another like i already said there's about a million things to do this is like a whole nother problem slash thing that you can edit is the setup of the bikes um i have this isn't default i have actually been messing around with this uh i've been taking lots of it's kind of a mixture of settings from i've been watching loads of lynn's videos um reprodoc videos loads of loads of all the boys that, that have been playing this game for a long time and they know what they're doing uh so i've been just taking pieces from uh from each thing and just mess about the setup a little bit it's probably i don't know if it's any good it feels all right to me let me know what you think uh if you want to look at it this is what we're going for at the moment um obviously pause the video if you want to see it properly this is the kind of stuff that we are rocking suspension i haven't really got a clue about uh i ride bikes in real life but I'm, I'm that guy that just gets on the bike and rides it i've never been one for setup i've never really messed with setup myself um so yeah i mean it's what we're rocking a lot of this is standard i'm pretty sure the sprockets and stuff are standard the main thing i've noticed is fork height and obviously swing arm length to stop the bike wheeling this might be a like ridiculously high for some people but i don't know it just seems to stop it from wheeling a little bit um keeps the front end down a little bit obviously swing arm length would do that would do that you know the longer the bike the more it's gonna be like a, a like a drag bike or a hill climb bike um yeah pause it have a look at it play with it if you want let me know if there's a better setup uh, or anything that you guys have been using um be much appreciated um and that's pretty much it so let's do that go to the track and here we are swedish midsummer dream nightmare what, what was it called i've no idea i've forgotten, I've forgotten already uh but yeah it's gonna be a lot of um third person not third person a lot of third person riding because the third person is a little bit funky in this game i won't lie and I struggle. Normally it's the other way around. Normally I love riding third person. And uh, I really struggle in first person. But in this, third person just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So we're not gonna do this for very long. I'm just gonna uh, quickly blast around just so you guys can check out the, the look and of our gear and our bike and stuff. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of this crashing. In fact, we're probably not gonna do third person for very long at all because it's impossible it's literally impossible i find it so difficult to uh, ride around in third person but um this track though is is crazy like it's nothing you know there's nothing it's not huge there's no you know there's not hundreds of you know corners and jumps and stuff but there's some big old uh big old kickers and booters but um the fact this is all free it's just insane like all the gear and stuff and the liveries and you know the customization is is effectively endless as long as people make it on the on the uh, MXP mods website and stuff. It's just crazy how much free stuff you get. I, I don't believe, and that's, you know, you can pay for all the latest tracks and stuff. Like there's a load of, um, obviously the, the American nationals, the, the pro motocross stuff that you can pay for. Um, again, I'm, I'm gonna butcher people's names and forget people's uh, names who make all this stuff. So apologies in advance. Hopefully I'll get the lingo and I'll, I'll become a bit more accustomed to it all as we go on. But yeah, I mean, that was kind of one quick lap. Let's just jump back into Dynamic on board because I believe this is the uh, the meta, as everyone likes to say. This is what you want to be uh, rocking. And already, I'm not going to say I'm amazing, but oh, we're going to case that horrendously. Already, we were a little bit better. So uh, I've been putting in some clean laps. Um, I can't imagine we're going to get many clean laps whilst I'm uh, recording this because it is tough. It is a tough old game. To get your head around but once you do it is so satisfying when you put in a full lap of a track without any crashes <laughs> as he crashes again <laughs> it, it go on fall over it might be one of the most satisfying things i've ever done in my life it's, it's crazy it just feels so good like it's just putting it all together just it's just so satisfying honestly like like no other americas game i've ever played has made me feel it's it's insane yeah, I mean, looks-wise, like, graphically, I know people always say, like, oh, it's like a mobile game. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it could look better, but, I mean... At the end of the day, it's all stuff that people are having to make themselves. You know, they're not professional developers. I mean, some of them might be. I don't want to do anybody uh, a disservice. But um, this is all stuff people are just making themselves and uploading to the, the mods website and stuff. And, 
yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's mad. It's honestly mad. But yeah, this track's cool, man. This, uh, like I said, I think it's quite a, a simple track in terms of, you know, there's no sort of mad breaking bumps, no, obviously no whoops and stuff. Um, and nothing too crazy, just some long sweeping turns. Very few big jumps, which you do have to get your head around a little bit. That was one of the things that took me a while, was uh, getting the speed up and letting off the throttle and stuff at the right time so you don't go looping over the back and but then getting in enough speed so you don't case stuff like this oh just about cleared it uh, that's obviously our ghost in front which uh, is my best lap time which I can't imagine we're going to beat uh, whilst I'm talking <laughs> but yeah I mean like I said about 8 eight hours maybe 10 hours by the time I'm recording this section of the video um, in the game, I feel like I'm doing all right. I don't feel too bad. I think a lot of it is set up because when I first started playing, I was all over the place. I jumped on a CRF uh, 250, Honda 250, uh, which you might have seen the screenshot on the community tab, which I posted the other day when I bought the game. Um, and I was awful, man. I was awful. I literally, that's the first thing I did was download all the OEM bikes and jump straight on one. I wasn't, didn't even bother with the, the built-in kind of bikes um, from what I was reading and watching on YouTube and stuff. That, that is, you, you got to get the OEM stuff straight away, man. It's, they feel way better than the uh, kind of built-in stuff. Um, but yeah, setup-wise, definitely helps, man. That Honda, when I first got on it, felt so bad. I was looping out everywhere. It's obviously going to be uh, not just setup. It's going to be, you know, getting some practice in. And, and obviously, you know, even in eight, ten hours, whatever we're saying, I've already improved. Um, we were keeping up with our ghost ah, as he tucks the front. But yeah, I, I, oh, I totally get it. I was never like, I've never been a big PC gamer. So obviously this is, again, for, if you don't know, if you're brand new to this uh, on the channel and you've, you know, you've never watched any MX bike stuff before and you're just watching it because you're uh, subscribed to our channel. Thank you very much if you are. Um, it's PC only, obviously, uh, no, no console stuff. So I don't think you need a particularly brilliant PC to run it. It's not a, you know, a huge, huge game. Uh, it's not a AAA, obviously, you know, I don't know, whatever the latest AAA games have come out, it's, it's, it's pretty chill, so I think most people could probably run it. Uh, I am recording at the same time, so I'm hoping, I did do a little test, but I'm hoping this comes out alright, and the sound and the uh, the visuals aren't too juddery and frame uh, frame rate. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll be good, hopefully my PC can just about take it. I've not got the best PC in the world, but I mean it's alright, um, it does the job. But yeah, so I've always been a bit sort of like uh, PC games. I've never been a big PC gamer. I, I bought a PC for you know work purposes and stuff. Um, I've always been a console gamer, man. Consoles are just so much easier to get into, obviously, as, as I'm sure PC gamers would agree. Probably the only thing that we would agree on uh, with console gamers. <laughs> Consoles are just easier, man. You just plug it in, buy a game, boom, you're done. But you do get loads of issues with them still, especially nowadays with uh, developers not finishing games and releasing loads of patches. Uh, we have overjumped that by a mile. What am I saying? I don't know. I feel like these videos could be a little bit waffly while I uh, get my head around how we play this game. But yeah, so I was never, you know, never big into it. But I'm glad, I'm glad I, I took the took the plunge. Uh, I will say, in on the UK Steam store, it's 27, uh, I don't know, 28 quid effectively, which if you didn't do all the modding, is a complete ripoff. Like, because you only get about, I think it's about eight tracks, maybe, possibly. Maybe a few more. Uh, and I don't think they're the best tracks in the world. They're obviously, they've been around since Poboso kind of made the game. Um, I'm not hating that by any means, I'm just saying. It does seem quite expensive for what you get. And obviously, the game technically is still in beta testing um, or beta. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. If, if it didn't have all this, if the community hadn't, you know, done all these OEM bikes, all these tracks, and you'd feel fairly ripped off. So, bear that in mind, you do need to do some modding if you want to get your money's worth. Uh, it isn't that difficult, honestly. The modding stuff is really simple to install it. It's so easy. There's so many videos out there. I mean, I probably won't do one myself because it's been covered so much, but it is so simple. You literally download stuff, copy paste it into some folders, boot the game up, happy days, you get some new stuff. Um, be careful downloading stuff off the internet, obviously. I will say that uh, I do virus check everything as I download it, but I am sure people on the uh, MXP mods page community are not out to get you um, with any dodgy viruses. Uh, so yeah, but it's really simple and it makes the game ten times better from what I can tell already. So 
I feel like I'm doing alright right here. I'm not trying to toot my horn or anything. Uh, oh, as he crashes. I feel like we're doing alright, we're doing alright. I've not been playing it very long and we're, we're getting the hang of it, so I can only imagine what would happen when uh, you see all these dudes that have been playing thousands of hours at this game and I can understand why they're so good. Because it's definitely a game that you need to practice. But yeah, we're spinning some laps. We're spinning some laps, not too bad. Like I said, I don't really know what kind of thing I'm going to be going for. We're still going to be playing other games on the channel. We're still going to be playing console games and like I said, I mean, I haven't done a Supercross video for a while, Supercross 6 that is, but I mean, if people want to see it still, I'll do some more. Um, we're still going to be playing like Ride 5 when that comes out and I'm not just going to completely give up on uh, console games and just become an MX biker. But uh, <laughs> So I don't really know what kind of... It's not really going to be a series. I guess we'll just check out mods as they come out, tracks and stuff. I'll probably check out some old tracks. Which, again, people have probably already reviewed, already, you know, published on YouTube and stuff. Um, but obviously we're brand new to the game, so I'm going to go out there and find all the best tracks that people have liked in the past. As we tuck the front again, that is one thing that does happen a lot, I seem to do. Yeah, just kind of, I don't know, do some, some riding around. We'll do some maybe some online races at some point. I'll probably need a little bit more practice. Oh, no, I mean, I jumped on there really quickly the other day just to, to have a play. And there was like a, I can't remember it again, the name of the server, or the, you know, the people that run the server, but uh, it was like all the, it's effectively like a noob, a noob class. And uh, it was all the tracks that come with the game, just in a loop, so you didn't even need any mods for the tracks at least, you needed the OEM bikes and stuff. But um, yeah, you could just tear around the, the built-in tracks of the game, and uh, it was just on a loop, and you could just literally just race other people on a loop, going through all the eight, 10 tracks, however many it is. Um, and that seemed like a pretty chilled way to get into the game, race against some other people. Um, you've got your usual stuff, like sometimes the servers are collisions off, some of them, sometimes the collisions are on, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, so maybe we'll do a video on that, we'll just tear around some uh, some of the, the built-in tracks online. Um, again, probably rip around on this KTM for now. Let me know what you guys think if you play along. Uh, and you find a decent bike with the new OEM patches and stuff, then uh, let me know, and let me know it's a particular setup and stuff, that'd be awesome. Um, probably gonna check out the Husky, I've, as I said just now, seen a few people rocking the Husky, and uh, they seem to be doing alright. So, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll definitely stick on the 250 though for a little bit. But yeah, I mean, that is our track pretty much. I mean, there's loads of other stuff on here, obviously you got all your uh, props and stuff, they're all, like, uh, majority of it is uh, no collisions, so you can drive through most things. I did find, let me know, I'm not going to put it on camera because I don't know, it's not that, it's not rude and it's not that bad, but over here somewhere in the trees is a little easter egg. Was it over this side? No, not over this side, where's the start? Over this way. Yeah, anybody that's rode this track, have they found the little easter egg in the trees over here? It's not an easter egg, I'll tell you that. It's, uh, it's something a little bit different to an easter egg, I'm not going to go all the way into it. It'd probably be fine to put it on, uh, on the video, but I'm not going to. It's either over there, or it was following the path round. I can't quite remember. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. There's a little summit summit in the bushes, hiding away. And, uh, yeah, I won't put it on the internet, but let me know if you find it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is cool. Honestly, it's really sick that this is just a thing that you can just download and play for free. Uh, so fair play to... Who was the dude? Who was the dude that uh, made it? I've forgotten already. Oh, I've forgotten his name. Here's her his name, whoever it is. Hell Machine, there it is on the side of the van. Beautiful, perfectly timed. Um, yeah, fair play, mate, fair play. This is a pretty sick track, if I do say so, from someone that hasn't played the game for very long at all, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but to me, it feels pretty damn cool. Awesome. Right, I'll tell you what, should we jump into a different track as well? We'll check out a few different things while we're here, instead of me just tearing around this one constantly. We'll um, see if we can send it over this. Oh, just about. Yeah, sweet. Well, uh, let's go jump to a different track that I downloaded, and we'll uh, we'll see what it's all about. Cool. Right, back to my menu. We'll uh, we'll check out another track in a second. I think what we'll do is we'll jump on a different bike. We'll jump on like a one two five or something. I've not really rode the one two fives, but uh, just for a laugh, we'll mix it up a bit, shall we? We go to MX two two stroke OEMs. These aren't going to have any cool liveries on or gear and stuff because I'm not really messed with them. I think I did. Did I ride the Husky? That might be what it defaults to actually. Yeah, I did. Cool. So I set up our gear and stuff a little bit. Rockstar helmet. Going for some neon uh, neon stuff on the go. Our gloves are the wrong colour, mate. We need to change our gloves. But yeah, so like for people that don't know, again, people probably know all this stuff. But if you don't, 
you just like, install these mods and I mean like look at all these gloves I've got <laughs> it's just insane there's just hundreds of stuff whether there's any neon ones any FX or neon uh, neon gloves orange yellow pink and yellow black and white black and yellow no neons though oh mate come on sort it out should have prepared shouldn't I should have prepared and got some uh, some sick neon gloves I mean we'll just go with the orange and white for now they should match all right um but yeah, like literally, there's, there's just endless amounts of stuff you can download. This is like old FXR gear as well. It's not even the latest stuff. It doesn't really match, but that'll do for now. Uh, and obviously, this is just a stock Husky 125. Um, TC 125. But yeah, we'll jump on that thing for now. Again, I'm not really rode this very much, so we're probably going to crash even more. Uh, but what we will do is jump into testing, and we'll check out a track that everyone has been uh, buzzing on about. Uh, big Air Motocross by uh, Huron MX, another big man in the community. Again, I don't know any of these people. I'm very new to the game, so I apologize if I'm, I sound like an idiot. Uh, but a name that keeps popping up that I've heard a lot about, I believe he does a lot of tracks. Uh, not always free, which I think this was quite a big deal that this one was free. Um, so yeah, let's jump into Big Air Motocross. As I said, I'm sure it's been covered a million times, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a little go on a 125. Cool, here we are, Big Air, man. Let's see what we can do on this one. Um, again, I've not really got a setup for this. Uh, I'm assuming I've just banged on the 120 tire, which everyone seemed to be doing. Um, I probably upped the fork light, maybe a little bit too much. Let's just bump that down a little bit. And we'll just jump on the thing and we'll see, uh, see what we can do. Go to the track on the two smoke. Sounding beautiful <laughs> on the 125. <laughs> Okay, a little bit jazzy, man. A little bit jazzy with our uh, our gear. Can't really see a lot in this camera. You know, you can't you can't whip round the side of it and stuff. So I'm just gonna show it off a little bit there. But we'll jump back into our first person. Uh, I've spent nowhere near as much time on this track as the uh, Swedish Midsummer, whatever it was called, just now. So don't even really know the layout. I'm not sure how loud this 125 is going to be either. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Uh, apparently, we're going to crash straight away. But yeah, I mean, just sick man to ride around on the 125, isn't it? I mean, we're going to lug this thing around a little bit. Definitely going to bog it down a bit. I feel like it gets a little bit wheelie happy, which is uh, funny for a 125, really. Not not the most power on a 125, obviously. Yeah, yeah, again, like another sick track that was just absolutely completely free. Like the amount of time that must go. I mean, I, I, I assume these take forever to build these kind of things, surely. It's not a quick five minute job, surely. But, um, oh yeah, I've got no idea how it's even done. I don't know if anyone can build them, if you need some particular like software and stuff, if it's free software. I think a lot of the um, the gear and the liveries and stuff are all just sort of paint shop jobs and certain, you know, it's obviously got to be the right files and stuff. But uh, I think a lot of people can do that because I've seen a lot of people with custom liveries with their own numbers on and their names and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So maybe at some point, I'm not a complete uh, computer noob. I can, uh, I can work my way around a computer. So maybe at some point we'll sort our own uh, liveries out maybe or at least steal someone else's and uh, put a number on it and not rock the default numbering. Might be quite cool but yeah like another sick track man again i'm only exploring the actual main tracks so i don't know if there's anything else hidden out of bite in the uh surrounding area but uh imagine a lot of people have already covered this track as i said and i imagine lots of people are racing it online but uh it's pretty cool pretty damn cool oh we're gonna go over the front mate oh he's just about saved it but not really one thing, right, if anyone is, does play this game a lot and you're actually decent at it, uh, how, how do you... When you're going to case something, what's the best What's the best sort of moves, man? What's the best best thing to do to not to case it but stay on the bike? Because I find, obviously, I'm coming up short on lots of stuff because I'm new to the game and I'm not sending it as much as I should be and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, when I case stuff, leaning back, I'm trying to land on the back tyre and stuff, you know, as you kind of would do in, uh, in real life. And it, it sometimes it works, but other times it doesn't. I don't know if it's just... Oh my days. I mean, that was obviously way over jumped, so we ain't saving that. But yeah, what's the play? Is I'm assuming it is lean back and land on the back tire, but maybe you just need a little bit more uh, finesse and a bit more skill, which hopefully will come uh, the more we play the game. But yeah, let me know. If anybody is uh, good at this game and you're watching the video for, for some random reason, you find the channel, much appreciated. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. That goes for everything, literally anything that anyone knows about this game. Whatever you think it is, even if you think I might already know it, 
write in the comments down below. I probably don't know it. I don't know a lot about it at all. So any help about anything set up, settings in general, like obviously I went through the bike set, but obviously we've got our own control settings and stuff. We've got all this stuff going on. I recently turned combined brakes on because it seems like a lot of people rock this on this game. Normally I'm a, I'm a separate brakes kind of guy. Uh, but yeah, let me know. What you, I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, I feel like this keeps getting mixed up as well. My rider lean and stuff. I don't know. I've seen some people with it inverted the other way, but then the sticks going the other way. I don't know if that's a thing. Let me know what you think. Should that be right the other way? Roll rock and all this sort of stuff. There's all these settings in here. Again, copied all this from like Linz and Reprodoc and just different different people's and starter systems, just different people's settings and just kind of messing about with them. Um, and sim simulation wise, I, I do have shift help on and automatic clutch, which I think a lot of people do as well. Just stops you having to let go of the throttle when you kick it up a gear. Uh, and obviously automatic clutch um, makes it not stall, which is always nice. <laughs> so, uh, and then I do have automatic rider sit on for now. Probably, so, probably shouldn't. I probably should have jumped straight into it and just got used to standing up and sitting down. But my, I, I, I'm not, I'm not a young person. The, like my hands don't, don't know how to do that that quickly. Sitting up and st standing up, sorry, and sitting down whilst changing gear, leaning back, forwards, left, right, turning, accelerating, clutch. You know, all this stuff. It's just too much, man. It's too much. I've seen a few people with this turned on, so I'm not the only one. But uh, I'm gonna leave it on for now. But yeah, I mean, let me know if there's like a. A, you know a default setup that people are I think I think I've got it fairly for what a lot of people are using but yeah the rider lean left and right let me that's one thing I was gonna say like if I I'm leaning right on my stick now and my guy is kind of leaning that's the wrong way around isn't it like that's I'm leaning my stick is going left now and the bike's going to the right but is that what you want I don't know when you go around the corner do you want to be leaning it's really confusing. It looks like he's leaning to the right, but the bike's going to the left. I don't know if it's like a counter steering kind of thing, or if I'm just doing it completely wrong. Let me know. Let me know. Maybe that's why I'm uh, struggling a little bit, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, let me know what kind of, I don't know. If it, obviously, I, I, I should come up with the ideas. I'm the one that's uh, the YouTuber and recorded videos, but uh, <laughs> if there is anything you guys want to see or would recommend me playing or anything like that, then obviously let me know and uh, maybe I'll do a video on it because I don't I don't really know there's been plenty of like noob to you know my first 450 uh, professional race or I don't know what I'm trying to say but you know what I mean there's been plenty of videos like that already that people have done plenty of progression videos that people have done and uh, I mean I guess it's gonna be kind of like that anyway no matter what we do I would hope that you know each video we're gonna kind of improve a little bit uh, and hopefully you guys will see that progression and then we'll maybe eventually we will do some proper racing obviously uh, I was watching some Linz live streams yeah the, uh, the actual I don't know what the, the classes and stuff are called but obviously they're doing the whole AMA kind of series along with the uh, real life nationals which is cool so you never know maybe one day we could qualify for a, a national or something I highly doubt it I don't think I'm going to be that good but you never know you never know let me know what you guys think We'll do a few more laps around here, and then uh, we might just call it a day for now. And as I said, maybe next video we'll do some uh, some live, live, some online racing kind of stuff around some of the game, the tracks that are in game already. But yeah, we'll see how we do. But I, I totally get it. I totally get it. If, if there's one thing, I guess, first impressions, I guess, of the game. I mean, again, a million people have done that video probably. Oh my days. It's good, man. It's good. Once you get the basics down, like I know I'm crashing left, right, and centre, but you know we're, we're we're putting some corners together. It does feel good, man. It feels good. And like I, I've said about it five times already, probably, the satisfaction levels, once you get it right, is uh, pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. It feels good. It feels good to get a corner right or, you know, a full lap right, I should say. Nah, I'm not going to jump over that enough this time. Yeah, I, I totally understand why uh, people love it. Uh, there's obviously MX Sim as well. I know the communities are kind of divided between MX Sim and MX Bikes. I've never played MX Sim either. Uh, but yeah, it looks a bit older and a bit kind of not as nice looking. So I went with MX Bikes, and obviously, uh, loads of people always say MX Bikes. So yeah, but any feedback, any help, all that jazz will be much appreciated. And a uh, shout out to Huron for this pretty cool track, man. Again, I don't know any of these people, but. Uh, <laughs> The fact that this stuff's free is pretty awesome, so thank you to both of the uh, the guys that made the tracks that we uh, rode today. Much appreciated. 
we try and get around to the end of the finish and uh, then we'll call it a day. We are rocking manual gear box obviously as well, if I hadn't already said that. We're not rocking uh, auto gears or anything. I don't think that's even a, I don't know if that's even a thing in this game. So you've got to do your tear offs and stuff as well. Come on, little husky one, two, five. We're lugging you around. Again, obviously this is box standard setup, so we might better make this a bit easier for myself because I am definitely struggling on this track a little more than I was on uh, the other one. Yeah, like look at the front end kind of. I over jumped it again, but what's, what's the play for saving those sort of things? Is it, is it even possible, or do you just need to get better at the game and not over jump stuff? That's definitely probably the one thing I would like to improve on first is just casing stuff and over jumping stuff. What's the what's the save? How do you save it, or is uh, is it not savable? Let me know. Let me know. Oh, dude, we're gonna over jump that into some braking bumps. Just about it survived. <laughs> it's so difficult, honestly. I tell you what, we'll, we'll round it off, right? With one thing I'll say is, if you bought this game and you've given up on it instantly, I don't, I don't think you can. You have to. You've got to be willing to spend some time playing this. I, I haven't got all the time in the world. I, I struggle to play games as it is and get videos out. With our real life stuff so this is going to be a grind man this is going to be tough for me to keep consistently playing the game and you know getting better because ultimately you're gonna to have to play this regularly to begin with to to improve and, and just get the hang of stuff it's not something you can just pick up like supercross 6 or or mx first atv legends it's just it's just not you, you've really got to put the time and effort into it but hopefully Hopefully we'll get there, man. Hopefully we'll get there, boys and girls. Anyway, right, as I said, let's leave it there. Random video, no idea how that one's gonna turn out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave some comments down below, give it a thumbs up, and it'd be very much appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel. We've, uh, we've hit like 1,500 subscribers out of nowhere, which is insane. All of a sudden, we hit 1,000, and then I've just gained another 500, like within, probably within a month, which is amazing. I thank you very, very much for all that. But yeah, let me know your tips and tricks for uh, MX bikes, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.